All right, my friends, what is going on? And welcome back. We've made it to the first stop. It's uh, Lake Pukaki. And Mountain Cook is in the distance, although you wouldn't know it. Um, but I am going to jump out and show you guys exactly where we are. Uh, we almost, I've almost got blown off the, uh, the edge here onto the stones and into the lake. But to be honest, guys, I'm expecting in the morning this to look absolutely magic. And this is why I'm doing this shit. I am doing this in search of happiness and freedom. And um, I'm pretty happy right now. And all I've got with me is a few boxes, a mattress, some pillows, and, and my content creation equipment. You know what I mean? I don't need much these days. I was meant to go and see my kids for Christmas this year. My, my flights got cancelled. It's so up in the air about travel at the moment. Two weeks quarantine on the way there, tw two weeks quarantine on the way back. That's an extra th six or seven thousand dollars, which I don't have. Whilst I'm away traveling throughout the, the South Island in this van, you know, I'd be lucky to spend, I don't know, a couple of hundred bucks a week. You know what I mean? Plus, in fact, you know what? I have no idea what I'm going to spend. That's the fun of it. That is the fun of it. You know, I have no idea what is going to happen over the next month, two months, three months. No one does. But I'm taking what I can of my life into my own hands. And uh, I'm learning about freedom camping too. So any of you guys out there who've done the van life or who, who aspire to do it or, or who you know know what freedom camping is or, 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 or anything like that please let me know but in the meantime guys I'm gonna open up this um, I'm gonna open up this door and, and show you guys exactly what we're we're dealing with so <laughs> that's pretty much it this is you know for site for sizing wise uh, this is the kind of space I'm working with. That's the door. That's my electric skateboard, which you'll see. Um, so if I come up the front here. Oh, turn myself around. This is what uh, what's behind me. So I've got a chiller. I've got, well, an esky. A chili bin, sorry. Chili bin, my electric skateboard. I've got three of these Tupperware containers, Tupperware style containers, um, two of which have clothes in them and one of which has my my electronic equipment such as my drone, my two cameras, microphones and and such. I bought a new laptop before leaving which is something I needed to do for so fucking long I've been using the same laptops guys for my my YouTube channel the same two laptops for well this one laptop for over four years the other for over two years and they both don't function effectively or properly or anything like what they should <laughs> and for someone who calls himself a youtuber for someone who's going on the road and who still wants to create loads of content and loads of good content i needed i needed a good laptop and that's exactly what i got so i bought a gaming laptop first thing he said was what games do you play i said none nothing none all i need is to be able to layer at least three or four tracks on top of each other in a video editing software and unless you have a gaming specific you know processor whatever they call it fuck if I know graphics card I actually don't know it just seems that if you get a gaming laptop to a to a, to, to a certain specification um, it it can handle pretty much anything I throw at it and so you know I haven't tried to edit any videos I haven't made any videos yet but I will be creating reaction videos in my van on the road okay <laughs> which is a concept I honestly never thought was possible but it's so exciting that is an exciting concept guys because I have no distractions it's like I can just I can just knuckle down and if I don't want to do it I won't you know what I mean it's all about like I said freedom I feel so free right now guys oh my god it's unbelievable and happiness and I feel so happy right now so you know that the, one day in like less than six hours into my trip and I'm feeling the two things that I I desperately needed and wanted and haven't been feeling lately so if I feel if I you know if I sorry guys if I not if I feel 
if I seem passionate right now, it's because I am passionate, it's because I'm feeling passionate. Because this is something I've wanted to do for ages, actually. I started looking into, you know, tiny homes, minimalism, living within your means, uh, getting rid of all your clutter, you know what I mean? Clearing that space around you so that your head can be clearer. I started getting into that years ago, to be honest, years ago. And this is my first, this is the first time I've actually done it. I've never stayed in a tiny, I've stayed in, I've stayed in one tiny home for one night with my sister. Absolutely loved it, but it was 270 bucks for the one night. Well, I'll be, I'll be surprised if I spend 270 bucks a week in this. We're talking food, obviously. I'm a guy. Okay, guys eat food. Um, I do drink alcohol at times. Although, I am assuming that alcohol is not going to play a part in this trip. It's certainly not. I, I am going to have the most efficient and effective morning routine because I've got everything within reach, I don't have to travel to a gym, I don't have to worry about who I'm going to see in the morning, if they're going to put me in a bad mood. Guys, it was, it was that bad, okay? It's just me and my van, bro. And my best mate, Tim, who's just back there. And uh, he's cooking us the first dinner of the trip. I'm not going to show you guys what it is, but what I am going to do is get the camera back out when I am opening up this very door tomorrow morning to hopefully what will be an absolutely magic um, morning. First morning in the van, Lake Pukaki with, with Mount Cook in the background. And um, just between you and me, just between you and me, I may even do a skydive tomorrow. Something I also thought, yeah, of course it's possible, but you never really think you're gonna be in a position to do it. You know, financial wise, whether you can commit to it, whether you're near a place that does it, and uh, also whether you have the balls. So I'm going to sleep on it. I'm not going to commit to anything right now, but I do have uh, I do have a, a slot. I've already booked it, but I don't need to turn up. So it's all weather dependent. Um, I it's yeah, it's completely up to they know I'm coming through. Um, it's completely up to me whether I actually uh, do it or not, but. You know what a what a way to begin this fucking thing, man. To <laughs> to um oh first night in the van. Wake up in the morning to a magic scene. Have a workout right outside my door. I'm gonna do some skipping. I'm gonna do some weights, and I'm gonna do some push-ups. Get a nice pump going. Have a coffee. Uh, you know, a nice hot coffee which I can do and then we're gonna we're gonna head off and we're gonna go past the skydiving place and if it's a magic day which it has to be because if the wind's up or there's too much cloud they actually can't do it so if it's a magic day if it's good enough I reckon I'll do it and that'll be that'll be day number two of the van life will be my very first skydive so I'm pumped um, I'm, I'm still you know the last I will say the last two or three days getting stuff ready well once I decided I was actually gonna do this which pretty much happened on Saturday you know the last two or three days have been so exciting but they've been frantic as fuck you know what I mean trying to get everything ready working out what I needed you know what I wanted to get rid of I've got rid of a whole whole heap of clothes again um, it's been it's been frantic it's been stressful but I've really enjoyed it because I, I know that you know with the way that I methodically work through things I would be able to make it work and and I would be able to do this and and you know because basically guys <laughs> once I set my mind to something once I say I'm gonna do something I do it you know what I mean at the end of the day it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter what it is once I decide I want it or I'm gonna do it I do it and the van life has been something I've wanted to do for a long time I don't know how I, I don't know if it's sustainable I guess we're gonna find out but the thing about my YouTube channel is that I always bring you know an open and honest perspective so you are literally watching someone who has no idea what they're in for you know what I mean basically but who has complete and utter faith that I can make it work so thank you so much for being here guys I'm feeling you know I'm feeling really good right now um, like I said freedom and happiness man so I cannot wait to to see it I cannot wait to live it live life passionately in the moment 
And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Laters.